Sarah Brent, the comptroller's office says once again, Connecticut is financially sound, which of course is good news. But this surplus comes as people are fed up about extremely high electric bills and as state Republicans continue to call for a special session. Connecticut continues to be in good fiscal shape, that we have come a long way in the last five to 10 years. State Comptroller Sean Scanlon is projecting a fiscal year 2025 surplus of about $240 million for Connecticut. That's coming from a general fund surplus of $113.2 million and a special transportation fund surplus of $126.4 million. The point of building up that rainy day fund is that we don't have to make the mistakes of the past. And the point of paying down our pension debt is that we finally get out of a situation where for 70 plus years, Connecticut did not do the right thing. Scanlon says at the end of fiscal year 2024, Connecticut will use about $940 million to pay down state employees and teachers retirement pension debts, marking more than $8.5 billion dollars in payments to these pension obligations in the last five years. We're not simply just sitting on this money. We have found, I believe, a good balance between paying down our long-term debt, saving for really dark times, and also making sure that we say to people we understand that things have been a little bit more expensive in the last couple of years. But state Republicans say people are hurting now. They've essentially been overtaxed, and yet they struggle to pay their exponentially rising and ridiculously increasing electric bill. Republicans have been sounding the alarm for weeks about high electric bills, calling for lawmakers to return to the state capitol for a special session. We have to explore options and opportunities of funds within the confines of our fiscal guardrails to provide a significant relief, particularly to the ratepayers of our state. The Democratic Party in Hartford continues to prevent us from even having any sort of discussion about that. Scanlon says he understands residents' concerns, but believes the solution is long-term investments in Connecticut's energy future. It's incumbent on us to turn down the heat, turn down the rhetoric, and actually have a conversation about what we can do together to fix Connecticut's electrical grid problems. Now, Governor Ned Lamont is meeting with Senator Harding and members of the legislature's Energy Committee today to talk about strategy moving forward. Lamont has been open to a special session this fall, but he says he wants the legislature to focus more on long-term solutions to get more energy supply into Connecticut. Sarah Brent.